Howdy scrappers. Well, I woke up to a uh, very busy YouTube channel. Thank you so very much to uh, Polly Prophet for giving me a shout out. Okay, so I need to get a wriggle on and I need to make some more content and stuff that you want to see. So first off, the rims that uh, Polly Prophet um, actually picked up the other day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I actually go and dispose of the tyres. Now the tyres are... Um, once you decided that they are definitely they are definitely uh, not worth keeping, um, the quickest way is to cut them. Now, uh, first off, I use my, you may remember from a very badly made uh, video before, about uh, how I made my valve remover. It's a little bit low of energy that day. I'm not gonna go get that. Okay, so next thing I do is, once I've decided that the tread's getting cut, then I get a uh, razor blade and basically cut around on the top of the side wall now what happens there once that's done is you end up with basically just the tread by themselves okay now these uh, I turn them inside out now once they're turned inside out and the treads on the inside it's kind of like having an arm wrestle with two people at the same time it's it's it's, it's a bit tricky and not everyone will be able to do it I understand that um, it's probably a two-person job but uh, it's a lot of fun to see if you can do it. And uh, obviously the fresher the tire, the easier it is. Now, on the outside, um, there's various different designs, but they do make really, really good raised bed gardens for veggie patches and things like that. If you're considering um, growing mint, like I have before, I've grown mint in one of these. They, uh, well, at least in my experience, they don't jump out of the garden bed and, and over the rest of the garden. They stay in their lane, so to speak. Okay, so that's what I do with that. However, um, then what I do is I pop off the side walls and I've got, uh, what I might do is I might just cut to another scene with that. Okay, the next stage is definitely to pop the bead all right now there i've seen many different designs and uh over the years i've met quite a few older gentlemen older than myself who have come up with very ingenious ways to do this i've seen people who will jack up their car and put something underneath their tow bar to pop it i've seen people who use the um the little wheel the little wind-up wheel uh on a trailer uh, the front of the trailer uh, the two um incorporate something there however uh, for simplicity and for portability uh, if you're prepared to spend a little bit of money um, there's one tool that I highly highly recommend and that is these guys so these guys are tie pliers if you're lucky enough to live in Australia um, it, you can actually get them I'll just I am not affiliated with these guys um, I've never spoken to anyone from the company all I've done is I actually really like their products uh, what you do is you literally um, uh, with a with a ring nut, you choose, or you can't really see the. Um, yeah, you choose the actual size of the tire. Like this is a 15 inch, so we put it on size 15, and then we've got the. Uh, that's the extendable bar that goes there. Okay, so from here, it's literally a one person operation. In fact, it's one handed, so I can show you right now. Okay, so what we're doing is we stand on this one, we lean on this one. And then we literally just, oh, hang on, let's go clean on that. And then we just pop him down. Now, it takes a few goes at this, a few bites. But, uh, okay, maybe I was a bit ambitious when I said it was one-handed. But, uh, but you just work your way around like that. And it will pop off the bead after about the third, third or fourth try. So, let's see how we go. Oh, I thought I'd give then. Yep, there we go. Third go. And we've popped the bead. Okay, so that's the next bit, which is the popping the bead. You do both sides. And what you're looking for here, guys, is where the channel is. So where the deep channel is, that's where you're going to get this off. It comes off with the same, the same way that you get a bicycle tire off a bicycle rim. However, it's a lot bigger and it's a little bit tougher. So we need to upgrade the uh, tools that we use. All right, so with that there, what you're looking at there is from there, you put one side in and then the other side comes up and this one will nearly go without, oh, 
she's really close to coming off all by herself all right i'll show you the next tip in a moment okay so this next bit is the bit that i get all the funny looks over and all the all the people come in and go, what the heck are you up to okay so all i've done here is i've got a design which was sitting in my head for weeks until i actually got out to the backyard and and welded it up so it's mainly water pipe in this particular case what i've used is uh water pipe um that is actually a base out of a tv satellite dish um it, i did that simply because i could actually put this in which i already had welded together um, you don't need to do this but i found that it actually makes it a little bit um, better for storage i do take this out to friends places um, in the countryside when they they have a quite a few ties that need stripping i'll just pop over there um, set this up and um, spend a day just sorting out their big pile of stuff and make it better for them okay this is actually um out of a trailer a trailer hub that there i believe from memory was from a vg safari valiant an old station wagon that i bought off a friend of mine that's from oh that's a long long time ago but uh it was just what i had handy again we've got um water pipe here as well whenever you sorry truck just went past okay so whenever you are um, welding with uh, water pipe be aware that it is actually um, the zinc coating or galvanized coating uh, you really don't want to breathe those fumes in okay so the next thing is I have over here four legs and it's quite simple this is how easy it is to put together you simply just pop it in because what you want to do is you want to stop the torque or the, the, the actual force going to turning this around okay so what I want to do here is basically pop these in and then tent peg them to the ground what i do is i choose a different patch of grass each time because i am trying to uh keep the lawn looking nice all right i'll set that up and i'll get back to you in a sec okay now we're good to go all right so it only takes a few seconds to pop that up put that together and i'll put a tent peg in the each of each end of those then simply pop that over and what i'm doing now is just with a get a hardened bolt and these usually last about 50 to 100 um depends on how hard it is to get the tire off uh, we, when you're trying to get the tire off in uh, one piece you're putting a lot more pressure on and these bolts bend a bit sooner but they will bend with the amount of force that we use it's just a matter of um trying to do it like doing it this way just saves a lot of elbow grease just saves a lot of stress um and uh, just quick and easy all right so what i'm doing now is i am looking for uh where we are there we go what i'm looking for is to line up one of the uh one of the wheel stud holes with uh the wheel stud hole the axle um stub or so the axle hub and then i'm just simply going to be bolting this up okay she's bolted in you don't need to have it perfect you don't actually need to do any more than one um i just do one and it seems to work okay for me all right so the next thing you want to do is you want to especially if you're doing with a, a complete tire you want to lube it up now some people will go the old-fashioned way which is have a margarine container empty one an old one with a bar of soap a little bit of water and a paintbrush and that works quite well however um I uh, like to tap into what's already out there. I'll go get no name canola um, canola oil, the cooking spray, and I'll just, you know, I do, just give it a little bit of squirt. And for the big tie, for the ties that you're pulling off in one go, this is brilliant. I cannot stress enough how quick and easy that is. So that's done. And now the next step, I, okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use the the actual lever, the, the actual tire, tire lever you get from tire plies, and then of course I've just got an extender bar for it, so that'll actually, I'll just put them there so you can see them, a little bit hard doing this one handed, Oop, okay, so I might have to go and uh, work out how to mount the camera a little bit, okay, alright, and next bit, okay next step is I've got to get that, in the right position so what I'll be looking at is first off I'm looking at the, again at that deep groove put uh, one side on the deep groove but the other side she's a 
a little bit loose. What I need to do, just pop that over like that. Okay, so that there's what you're looking at. And again, just in the deep groove there. Then, with the extender bar, just pop that on like that. Now, this is a bit that uh, surprises people. Some, if you get this right, it comes off really easily. Like, that easy. Uh, yeah, once you cut the side walls like that and you take the tread away, it really makes the job a lot easier. Okay, if you're scrapping, that's that's fine. If you're keeping the tire or you're remounting tires for your own purpose, um, then you've got to struggle with the full tire. And I might make another video about that one because that's I might have to get somebody to hold it, to hold the actual um, hold the camera for that one because that's a that's a pretty intense operation. Okay, so on to the next stage. Okay, this is a side wall that we uh, just cut away. What are we going to do now? Turning that over, just to get easy access. So these are bolt cutters that I've ordered at garage sale or, or an op shop or something. Um, the, the actual jaws were no good, or I may have been given them. I'm not too sure it was so long ago. What I've done is I've gone and got a, uh, a new pair of uh, jaws and uh, took a little bit of time to get it right. But once they're mounted, as long as I use them for only this, they're not going to. They're not going to be a problem. They're going to stay nice and sharp. All right, so this is then my dedicated sidewalk cutters. What I'm doing there is I'm cutting the bead, which which is literally that simple. So I'm going to be doing four cuts. Um, I'm going to be making the cuts opposite each other for the first two. Uh, and the bead is actually tensile steel, and it's wire. So sometimes you get... Um, quite a lot of thin wire and sometimes you get a little bit of thicker wire which is sim very similar to fencing wire in fact if you're on a farm and you're absolutely stuck with fencing wire but you've got lots of tires you could muck around with a razor blade and get it out but uh, I'm, I'm letting you know now it is not easy work it takes ages but it can be worth it if you're desperate for the wire okay so in a perfect world though we wouldn't be throwing these away We'll be using paralysis, which is the heating of heating up of something in a chamber with the with the absence of oxygen, and uh, you can make fuel out of these. In fact, people are. There's a company in Queensland which is just set up. Set up. Um, they're actually burning tyres in an oxygen deprived environment to extract the goodness. Now that's something that I'm not set up to do, but that's something I'm pretty interested in maybe later on the other track, or it depends on how things go with the networking. Now, as far as these are concerned, once you've done the cut there, let's see if I can, yeah, you can literally, you can actually tear these by hand if you're fairly strong, or you can just get a pair of um, side cutters and cut them. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this one handed, but I'll give it a try. Oh, there we go. That's how easy it is. Once the bead's cut, just to break these. And you guys might might not believe me. You might want to do it yourself because oh no, that one I didn't cut properly. Oh no, no, she's not going to go. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Just like that. Once you cut through the bead, and that's the bead there, the natural steel cables, the steel wires. Once you cut through that, the rest of it's just rubber and a little bit of fabric. Um, you can do it, but obviously I didn't, um, might not have cut this one far enough. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, what's that? Looks like, not sure what that is. Could be, could be a different colored fabric, could be copper. If it's copper, then I have to investigate a little bit further. No, that's fabric. Okay. All right. So there we go. Just needed a little bit of encouragement. Now that's how you get rid of a sidewall. And I actually pay for a, um, a bin service, so for me it's a um, 240-litre bin and cost me $10 to get that emptied. So that's a really, really good deal. Shout out to JJ Waste on that one. Um, they're between $10 to $15 a tip, depending on your area, depending on your sales rep, depending on the, the, the runs of the bins. But I can get mine um, up to three times a, a week, I can get mine emptied. Okay, um, so that there has turned the sign wall into something that you can um, literally just put into a, a rubbish bag and then uh, look, depending on your council, you might want to check. Um, I believe most councils, as long as you bag it up, it might be able to go into general waste. 
Now the tread, it's a different story. Once you turn it inside out, what I like to do is I use to I use duct tape um, to uh, squash mine down and tape it up, and uh, it'll go in the bin as well. Well, for me, it goes in the, the commercial bin, but um, yeah, I, I can actually get six or seven tyres in one rubbish bin. And uh, people don't usually believe that until they see it. And once they see it, they're just like, wow. But, you know, if you want to condense, um, you want to actually uh, basically look after the landfill that we actually have, it's a, it's a good way to do it. Um, otherwise, the machinery down there have to do it. They have to crush it and squash it and do whatever they do down there. Um, but yeah, okay, well, I hope that was helpful. And I'm sure there's going to be questions raised over that. But uh, by all means, ask away.